Super sweet sound, huh? Absolutely. All right. You got the specs there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, first time playing a Ken, Ken Franklin, Franklin over here. My goodness, what a... What do you think? It's a gem. My goodness, it's so, I, it's so light. That's one thing I just love. I love, I really love having a light build like this. Um, and very open. And you said sweet. I think that's a really good point about it. One thing I really like uh, of Ken's builds is they're very clean. Uh, like yeah. everything, just you can examine it from even the rosette. Yeah. That like tiled wood rosette, so Crazy. clean cut lines and yeah. just really such a tasteful ukulele. Yeah. Uh, incense cedar top. Again, a little bit of sapwood right there. It's really nice. That's usually that's pretty unusual. Like we don't usually see sap in in cedar. In cedar, it's, it's right? Really nice. A little bit of character. Yeah. I like how he follows that um, that uh, mosaic style in the fret markers. Oh, to match the rosette, yeah. Right. Kind of like that same. Know what I'm seeing? Yeah, I see. Yeah. It's interesting. He only did it on the fifth and twelfth. Yeah. But the dots are on the side too. Um, I think this is Honduran mahogany, and oh my goodness, you can swim in those <laughs> curls. <laughs> Super tight. Super tight curls, yeah, absolutely. At first, I was thinking it was uh, Cuban mahogany, but the the coloring and it just looks like regular mahogany, but but curly. But curly. Right. So you move it back and forth on the light. Or even I thought it was sapele at first too, because you can right. get some really curly sapele that looks like that. Very but, light, yeah. Yeah. A lighter color. The head plate to match, too. Yeah, gosh. Sound wise? Gorgeous. <laughs> you know, uh, it's like a. I don't know if this makes sense, uh, but I feel like the sound, it projects really nicely. Like, it's very much outside of it. Like, you know, sometimes it feels like, you know, there may be like a. I don't. That, does that make sense? <laughs> no, no, I know exactly you know what, what I mean. Like yeah. it's like very, out, and it, the side port I'm sure helps for like the, you know, the player's ear too. But it's like, it's like the the entire ukulele sings. You, you feel like feel it like expresses even. itself well. It's not holding back. <laughs> it's not holding back. No shame and no shame in this guy. Yeah, just it instead knows, of knows just it's classy, you know, not just pr just sing, not just <laughs> press, just sing. Yeah, absolutely. Even down to just basic chords, basic open notes and stuff. The, the fundamental tone of the ukulele is there. And it's not just a, a loud ukulele. It's it's well spoken in the <laughs> so good. I like that. in the voice. It's got a little bit of that brightness too, which I really like. Even on the low end. It's nice. Those are uh, Worth Brown fluorocarbon strings, and yeah. it's one of my still one of my go-to strings because it doesn't have that. There's a there's a level of brashness you get from clear fluorocarbon strings. Sure. And with this, or it's even perfect. like the Fremont Black Line strings, or like the Orca, the the black fluorocarbons, mm. um, it kind of like we were just talking about this. Uh, maybe a podcast ago or something, but it, it kind of is that it's rounded off. That tone is rounded off, so you just right. get this really clean tone, and not just a it's clean tone, but a, a tone that's uh, responsive to how the ukulele is built, to mm. with the woods that are used, and yeah. you know the the style of build, especially with Ken. You know all of his ukes, they don't only sound good, but they're all they're all different in tone, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, it's really it's like don't even really have to work. That's the thing that uh, I notice is um, that you have to have like a really light touch to I feel like maximize. Well, it's nice as, as you know? for how low the action is and the amount of attack and volume you get from it is you don't you usually exactly. sacrifice that with with super right. low action, right? Yes. And I, I measured it, the, the, the 
E and C is that like two millimeters? <laughs> it's like you <laughs> barely, barely have to touch it. press. It's, it's a it's a couch ukulele for for sure. You just oh, I like you know that. you check back and you just you want to strum a couple chords. And, you know the ukulele will just respond to whatever you do. Right. Well, that's a lovely way to put it. I like that. Great balance. You're a man of many voices. 